Blepharoplasty two weeks ago. I need a revision. Incision too low. Raised big scars. Bags. How soon can I get a revision? How soon can I get a revision? I feel so awful about these results. Will someone be willing to revise another surgeon's work? Is it best to look for someone who does eyelid surgery as a primary specialty? Thank you for your question. You've, made, you've submitted several photos and you state in your question that you are two weeks after lower eyelid surgery and you are ready to think about revision surgery and you state that there are visible incisions that were placed too low, that you feel there are bumps and that you feel you have bags. Well, certainly I can share with you my approach to patients like yourself who come to our practice seeking this type of uh, revision surgery as early as two weeks. Uh, to give you a little background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and a big part of my practice is to do revision eyelid surgery for patients who come from all over the world. So I'll give you an idea of what my thinking is of how your surgery was done and then what I think is potentially an opportunity but I think that it, it, from the word go I would say you are probably a little too early to consider surgery. And here's how I, I think through this process when patients come to me. First I want to make sure that the eye is protected. If the eyelid is in a compromised uh, position and is not, and there is any issue with the health and integrity of the eye that's not responsive to just drops and ointments, then early surgery is warranted. There have been many situations where people have come where their eyelids were completely averted in a way called ectropion where it, even if they did, they also had very severe dry eye, so they couldn't put enough drops and ointments and we had to move in and do things sooner. In your situation, it doesn't look like the case. Your situation is actually an anatomic challenge. So basically, the situation you came in with already was a, a, a challenging from an ophthalmic structural point of view. And what do I mean by that? Well, one, you have relatively prominent eyes, which means that the lower eyelid is in what's called a relative negative vector. So any procedure done from the outside puts you at a little bit higher risk of potential eyelid retraction. In addition, because of the anatomy and the p position of the lower eyelid, there's definitely an understandable reason as to why there is this appearance of bags. Typically for someone like yourself, I would have chosen, and again this is a stylistic issue, it's not necessarily um, your physician doing something wrong, but rather I typically do this procedure from the inside of the eyelid called a transconjunctival blepharoplasty. When someone has prominent eyes, for an oculoplastic or oculofacial plastic surgeon, it's, a, it's something we are very familiar with because we deal with thyroid eye disease and other conditions where people's eyes are very prominent, so the dynamics are, are very important. The challenge is, is that it's also technically demanding to operate on someone who has prominent eyes from the inside as well, and so that, you know, that's also maybe a, a reason why a lot of surgeons prefer to do this from the outside. Now that being said, as far as the concern about the incision being low, often when, when people are swollen, the incision can look a little bit further away from where it was originally placed. So w you can probably wait about the swelling, um, to allow the swelling to resolve, because the incision placement may be not as displaced as you may think. In addition, when you have very, very light skin and you have other lines in that area, very often the incision tends to blend. So even if it is too low, it tends to, to, to heal well enough that it doesn't become 
justifiable to do anything else. As far as the bumpiness of the incision, that also is normal. Two weeks out, it is not unusual. I always tell people that the first month after surgery, it, we call it the proliferative stage. This is the stage where the body is creating a lot of blood supply, a lot of collagen, and things can get bumpy. And this applies to any incision, regardless of whether it's an eyelid incision or facelift incision or any other kind of incision. So that will probably resolve with observation. As far as the bags are concerned, most likely you're dealing with a lot of swelling. And swelling has to resolve to differentiate residual fat, redundant skin, as well as and to differentiate from swelling. So generally it's advisable to allow at least six months to go by. Since the integrity of the eyelid and the position of the eyelid is not, not really an issue, but it's really about the aesthetics, you have time to uh, consider something revisional later. I think that at the, for now, continue your follow-up care with your doctor, discuss these issues, let your doctor guide you as to how to manage these issues. If you chose your doctor to do the procedure, certainly you have already have established a certain amount of trust. And so at least have this discussion and see if you can get some guidance. Your doctor may recommend something like massage to help expedite any fluid um, that is sitting in one area that may not move as easily with normal eyelid movement. I mean, there are a couple of things that we, you can do to help in, enhance the healing process, but understand that the healing process does require time. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question.